In this video, we're touring a stunning 34 foot long tiny house that has a two-tone exterior and a sloped butterfly roof and a really smart interior design where everything necessary is on the main floor. It's only eight and a half feet wide, but with wraparound windows and high ceilings, not to mention a main floor bedroom and lots of subtle storage, the house feels incredibly functional and spacious inside. We're excited to meet up with Sarah, who's gonna give you a full tour and show you some of the clever and interesting features in this tiny house. This video is sponsored by Omaze. They're offering the chance to win a Mercedes Sprinter van with an additional $80,000 eco-friendly van smith customization while also supporting a great cause. We'll give you more information at the end of the video and you can also visit omaze.com slash exploring alternatives to find out more. I really love this tiny home. I think it's beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, but it's functional and it feels really big. I've been in many tiny homes and this one, it feels like a full size apartment or condo. Um, you're not really compromising on anything when you're in here. So the tiny home is 289 square feet plus the loft is 100 uh, square feet. So it's 389 altogether. It's 34 foot long by eight and a half foot wide. So that means it's able to travel on the road without a special permit. It has a two-tone exterior and a unique roof line that slopes up at each side that really defines the design. And the roof inside then gives extra space at both ends, especially for the loft, that's important. We actually call it a tiny cottage because we are on a lot here in a park. So we have a nice outdoor space with a fire pit and picnic table and the whole forest behind you. This is built by Zero Squared and it's set up at Harmony Resort's South Algonquin, which is just at the south gate of Algonquin Provincial Park. Um, so a really beautiful area to be in. All right, so I'm gonna give you a tour of the space. So this is the front door here. So you have the wooden stairs and then you just come in through the sliding glass door um, and that would bring you in to the living room space right here. This is a futon, so it folds down for extra space for an extra adult or two extra kids if they're staying here. You have your extra storage space underneath here. As well, there's a hole if you wanted to have a little TV or a computer or whatever you wanted to set up here. And then you have your sliding back door. We don't have stairs on here right now, but you can also order them with stairs going down the back as well. Because of all the windows in here, you really feel like you're immersed in nature and you really feel like the outside becomes an extension of the inside just feels super wide and super spacious and so much natural light and the windows all the way up to the top there really provide that outside feeling. So the ceiling goes up to 10 feet up here and that's the slope going out and actually provides an overhang for the outside if you had a porch there. Um, and this is where you really get the spacious feeling and don't feel like you're in a tiny home. What I like about it is that it feels like a regular living room. It doesn't feel confined. It has everything that you would need in a full-sized living room. So here we have the dining area and we have extra storage in the cupboards and the shelves under here. Um, we have two stools here and the counter actually flips right up here. And you can see that there's a good amount of space that you could put more like about four stools could comfortably sit here in the dining area. Um, so there's no shortage of table space in the living area. So the fold down counter is a quick and easy way to have more counter space, but folding it down also gives you more space when you walk in the front door here. So we're here in the kitchen. Um, so we have the dark wood countertops, um, a nice L shape here. The whole house is actually tongue and groove pine and it's whitewashed. So the dark wood and the white really stands out. It's really aesthetically pleasing. And we have tons of storage space from cupboards down here, as well as these really huge covers that go up to the ceiling as well. Tons and tons of extra storage space in this kitchen. You have your microwave mounted here on the wall. Um, you have your stove top and your, your oven, so anything you need to cook in there is a nice size. And then you've got your nice stainless steel sink, a nice window to bring extra light because it's not as many windows in this area. And then we have the mini little dishwasher right here. Nice small size, but good enough to do the job in your tiny home. 
And then we have the, the nice pantry here, a lot of cupboard space that goes all the way back. So you've got a lot of storage space here. Um, you've got your full size stainless steel fridge. So you can store all your food, no problem. There's extra cupboards underneath here as well. The stairs go all the way back here. So you can put extra storage deep in underneath the stairs as well. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's really a perfect size, fully functioning. And it's nice because from here to the living area, it's a really open concept. So you can cook and talk while you're in the other room with your partner or whoever you're here with. So off the kitchen is a walkthrough bathroom. So you have your one door here to close off from the kitchen. Um, and there's actually a pocket door behind me to close off the bedroom. Um, and then we have our sink here. We have extra storage space above the sink and underneath is the combo washer and dryer. So you can do all your laundry right here. And here we have a composting toilet, which is made by separate. And then behind the door here, we have the shower, which is a full size shower, really big space here. It's not like your typical RV small shower. Um, no compromises were made on the size. After the bathroom, you come to the main floor bedroom. It has a queen size bed here, so it's a good size and there's still space that you can walk around the sides of the bed. Um, enough room for a little table here. And in this corner, we have a floor to ceiling closet where you can store your clothes. There's hangers and shelves in there. And then you could also store extra clothing underneath the bed as well. There's lots of space there. And there's two big windows for light as well as they both open for nice ventilation, a beautiful, you know, spring day, have the breeze blowing through your little tiny home while you lay in bed. So it's really nice with a lot of natural light. And one of the best features of the house is that there's a main floor bedroom. You don't have to go up the loft to it. You can just walk right in and it's really part of your living space. And having a main floor bedroom makes it a little bit more accessible because not everybody can go upstairs and be in a loft, but we do also have a loft and a lofted bedroom up the stairs. So these are the stairs to the loft and we call these bi-step stairs. So they're the same rise and run as regular stairs, but you know, bi-step the way that you would naturally walk. So people are a little bit intimidated when they first see them, but they're actually very easy to walk up because it's the natural gate of walking. And the reason that they make them this way is it compresses the amount of space that you need. So it's literally cuts the stair space in half. So you have more room for your fridge or your, your doorway or whatever you need. So this is the lofted bedroom. Uh, we have a queen size bed here and you can see that there's space on both sides. So it's a good size up here. And the sloping ceiling means at the head of the bed, you have more space above you. So you don't feel super cramped when you're in the bed. So there's two nice long windows on each side of the bed, which bring in a lot of natural light and continue the feeling of being in nature up here, but they also open and both have screens on them, which will really have a lot of nice airflow at this height. And then there's a nice big amount of space here. And then there's built in cupboards over here um, where you could put all your clothes storage. And the bed that we have here actually has a really big mattress right now um, with a pillow top on it. So if you did want more space above you, you could just get one of the lower mattresses that they sell. So you could have more headroom when you are laying in bed, but we like this one for comfort. <laughs> Because the tiny home is located in a four season park, it's really important that it be good for summer and winter. So it's insulated with spray foam to keep it really warm in the winter. It runs off a mini split for heating and cooling and propane for the stove. We are on grid. We're hooked up to the electrical and the water system here. So while the tiny home is built to home standards, it actually is classified as an RV, which is why it's on wheels. And what's so special is that we've put it in this beautiful scenery that you can see all around you. And this one here is in Harmony Resort, South Algonquin, but we actually have them in our 14 parks across Ontario and we rent them out and we also sell them as a cottage alternative. So a lot of people are really interested in tiny home living um, and renting one of these units out through our parks is a really great way to experience tiny living before you really make that leap and do the purchase. Come and see how it feels to stay in here, to cook in here, to sleep in here and really get a feel for it. If you want to find out more about Harmony Resorts and their tiny houses, we'll put the link to their website in the description below. 
We want to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. They're offering the chance to win a Mercedes Sprinter van with an additional $80,000 eco-friendly Vansmith customization to create a home on wheels for weekend road trips or long-term adventures. The custom van will have a modern kitchen, full-size bed, and loads of storage, not to mention a solar power system and a choice of exterior upgrades like a rear bike rack, a storage box, and more. Camper vans are a great way to feel at home wherever you go, whether camping or on the road. We've been traveling in camper vans for eight years now and we've had some amazing times that we wouldn't have had any other way. Omaze gives people the chance to win one in a lifetime prizes all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. When you enter for your chance to win, you're also supporting the Justin J. Watt Foundation. They're on a mission to encourage middle school aged children to dream big by providing them with after school opportunities in the community to become involved in athletics. So to potentially win a Mercedes Sprinter van with an additional $80,000 eco-friendly Vansmith customization and to support the Justin J. Watt Foundation, go to omaze.com slash exploring alternatives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.